Hey everybody, welcome back to my garden. And today I want to show you an update with our Diva Cucumber plant. Look at this beautiful plant right over here. It's been growing for quite some time now. And you can see the leaves have just got grown huge, basically the size of my hand. That's, I'm sure, great what to do with this light. Uh, honestly, this has been like one of the best lights I have ever used. This is a Sun System 315. I'm in no way like promoting like for this business or advertising for them. This is just my own personal experience. I've had this light on for I think about a week or so now, maybe a little bit longer, and I'm very, very impressed. Like really, really impressed. Look at this cucumber plant, guys. It's so compact and dense. When I lift up the leaf, look at all the side shoots that are beginning to form. Beautiful, beautiful looking plant. And I don't see any tendrils yet, but it's definitely coming soon. And let me just try to lift up this so we can see, get a better look. You can see all of the inner growth in the middle that's starting to come in. And I'm debating to clip, to clip these, um, these lower leaves over here on the bottom that are kind of like touching the soil. Because that's a good way to get like, you know, like bugs or aphids, spider mites, things like that crawling back up. Although I haven't had any issues, thankfully, with this, I'm sure that's greatly to do with the ventilation. Very important to have in your grow tent. And before I had this thing just kind of clipped, but now it's just a little bit hanging because I notice when it's hanging, it moves around a little bit better, and it creates a little bit more of a, a little bit better of a flow in here, and really spreads the wind around. Around. Now I'm noticing the leaves are kind of curling up a tad bit. Well, actually, no my mistake this is just because it's a new leaf that's growing in so it didn't fully open up yet but look when I move around look at this beautiful cucumber plant guys I'm super super impressed with this thing and this is a self-pollinating cucumber plant so I'm not gonna really have to do anything at all and the fact that this is growing indoors that's that's great you don't want to have to deal with um, hand pollinating sometimes you may miss it or it may not work and it's a little bit of a little bit of a waste and disappointment I should say so I think this thing is doing fantastic right now. Let me kind of spin this thing around and you guys can get a, a nice look at it. Now this is just being grown in, in a regular pot. This thing must be approximately like 14 inches across and maybe like 12 inches deep. So it's pretty large. And so now that it's moved around, you can, oh look at that. Even in, right in the center, there's a beautiful leaf right there starting to form. I'm really impressed man, look at this thing. It's starting to thicken up the stem right in the middle, the main branch, look at this, beautiful. Now I notice sometimes this happens over here. You may even have some roots that come out and, and go right in the soil. I, I generally keep the top of the soil fairly dry. I mean I water this thing based on weight and this thing is super heavy right now so I'm sure even though the top, of, top is... Um, looks dry if I run my finger down a little bit well actually I don't want to run it too deep because look you could already see the roots are right there so let's cover that back up now cucumber plants are heavy heavy feeders so this entire container all the soil is going to be engulfed in in the root system so as you're watering this thing this thing is really going to be absorbing it and taking in the, the water or the nutrients whatever is inside of your soil beds or your hydroponic Containers, whatever you're using to grow, the cucumber plant has really been able to take everything in. So, this soil that I used is just regular potting mix, whatever I had available. And I believe it has, uh, yeah, it definitely has mixed in fertilizer. So, I'm not going to be adding any fertilizer throughout the grow. Now, I kind of stuck in this tomato trellis that I had just laying around. Normally, when I grow cucumbers, as I kind of back up, you can really see what it looks like. When I grow cucumbers, I would grow it on um, like a netting that I would hang up on the side or across. I've never grown this way. If you guys have any tips or recommendations of growing cucumbers like that, let me know. Should I let this thing grow wild or should I kind of train it to move around and then up? I'm not really sure. What do you guys think is best? Let's talk it through down, down in the comments below. And we're going to be back soon for more episodes of this cucumber. I'm going to definitely keep you guys updated. 
And before you go, I just want to show you real quick our beautiful cigarilla pepper plant. This is an orange cigarilla. Look at that. That's look looking nice and healthy. We're going to have a tomato series, uh, <laughs> a, a pepper series coming up real soon, guys. So we're going to be following along with that. And we'll be back soon for more. As always, if you like the episode, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers and all my existing subscribers. I love all of you guys. And let's keep this channel growing. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.